So, uh, hey everybody, I know it's late at night, and I know you're like, what are you doing, doing a live video like late at night? Um, the reason I'm doing this, I'm doing a bunch of work, and I noticed that, and I've been reading this over the weekend. Um, so for those who don't know who, who went to Gen Con, uh, the attack on Jeremy uh, Hamley at uh, Gen Con. So I've done the cool thing. I've looked at a lot of different points of view, and I'm gonna give you my point of view. Um, I'm going to come out and say some stuff first so you guys can understand the context that I put it in. All right, so first and foremost, I am a big believer in free speech. I'm very big on the First Amendment. I believe you should defend the First Amendment at all costs. I think it's important for people to express themselves any way they want to. I might I might not enjoy it or agree with it, but I think the right to defend it is very incredibly important, and we should focus on that, number one. Number two, the thing I really believe on top of that is, like Ice-T said a long time ago, you got the freedom of speech, but just watch what you say. Because you don't know who you're going to run into and you're going to punch you in the mouth for it. So that's something else. I mean, you can say what you like, but don't be surprised when somebody disagrees with you and wants to punch you in the mouth. So just understand that. Uh, number three, if you come up to somebody and say, hey, are you so-and-so, and then sucker punch them, that's kind of a, you know, that's a punk move. That's straight out punk move. You know, if you tell the guy, look, man, I got a problem with you. I'm going to punch you in your mouth. So put your hands up. I have a little more respect for you. But to, to sucker punch somebody, that's not cool. I don't care who the guy is. Look, I know you're upset with Nazis. You don't like Nazis. I don't like Nazis. But I, I believe on a, on a pure level, I can't be the first one to punch. I just can't. I can't. I just fundamentally can't. Because if you punch it and they're not ready, that's a sucker punch. And that's a sucker move. And I'm not the kind of guy. So you can't do that. If the guy swings on you, oh, straight up, it's on. I believe you could stop a mud hole into that dude. Anybody, like I tell people, unless you're going to make love to me, don't put your hands on me without me knowing. <laughs> and even then, tell me. Don't just think you're going to be touching on me. This, everything's cool until you, until you touch me. After that point, it's on. And I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to stomp you out. No lie. If you come in a fight with me, I'm assuming that you don't want me to get home to Lucas. So I'm going to do everything I can to fundamentally get, make sure I get home. I don't care what happens to you. If it's between you or me, I'll send flowers to your funeral. Just just get that part straight. Now, um, all the stuff this guy has been saying, because I've been watching uh, Jeremy's videos, and sometimes the hits guy, I'm like, wow, man, you're really insane. But there are a lot of insane people in the world, so I'm not going to get involved in all that insanity. But, but he, he said some dumb things. He shouldn't have been hit, but I'm not surprised he was hit. You know, didn't, oh, you got hit in the mouth? Oh, you said a bunch of crazy stuff, got hit in the mouth? Oh, what a surprise. That happens a lot. If There are some people who aren't stable who will punch you in the mouth over things that you say. So either you better be ready to take a punch or just shut up. Now, if you could punch in the mouth, look, the guy who punched in the mouth, uh, apparently he, he runs, what, Eden, uh, Eden, it's a, it's a comic book, it's a comic book store. In Connecticut, funny enough, um, dude, you, you're going to go to jail for assault. And I'm all for that. You know what I'm saying, man? Keep your the same thing I tell Lucas all the time. Keep your hands to yourself. My mother said that to me. My father said that to me. I keep my hands to myself. Ain't got no problem with that. But I'll tell you right now, you punch me in the face, you do something, put your hands on me, it's on. Up to that point, we can debate, we can get upset, we can do that, we can do all that stuff. But the second you touch me, yeah, man, I'm gonna put you out. I'm not gonna run from you. I'm not gonna try to kiss my wits. I'm going to do everything to make sure you don't make it home to your family because I'm making it home to mine. I don't care about you because you definitely want to come up on me. If you punch me in my face, you're going to catch something. You know, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, it's, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I saw this and I was just like, what? And like I said, I've seen this other stuff this guy said, and you know what? He, he gets people riled up. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, but that being said, you can say what you like. You can say anything you like. It's, it's okay to say what you like. I mean, it's okay. But just understand, somebody might punch you in the mouth over it. And that's where... And then, like, other people... And this is something that kind of disturbed me that I really didn't like. Um, so the nurse producer promotes and encourages violence in the wake of the attack on this guy. Look, if you don't like someone... I'm going to put a link in here so you all can see, you know. And, and it might be... And it might have a right-wing tilt to it. I, I personally, I don't care. If you're inciting people to punch people because you don't like what they have to say or let me just call it this if you're too willing to you know assault people come on dude you, you you've lost the moral ground you've just lost the moral ground you can't you can't can't do that can't do that 
You know, can't do that. The second, and I know, and, and this is, and I guess, you know, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this now so you all understand this. I'm gonna put in some racial perspective. This is something that white people seem to do a lot. And I don't get this part because black people, we know, man, you lay hands on somebody, you're gonna go to jail. My guys do all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm always like, what? Don't you know you go to jail for that kind of stuff? They send people to jail. This dude assaulted this dude out in the open. Who assaults someone out in the open? Number one. You wait back alley, you catch somebody out there, and then out. You don't do it in front of people where they film everything. Are you nuts? I mean, that's just stupid. Number one. And dude, you're going to go to jail. You're going to go to jail. You hit that guy, you're going to go to jail. If you got any money, he's going to sue you and take your money. But they got you. He got you. They got you. If they got you on film, they got you. The cops are going to get you. You're going to get arrested. You might catch a felony. And because just be honest, you could catch a felony. This may not be a misdemeanor. This might be a felony where you spend two, three years in real jail with some real mofos who don't play, who are looking for guys like that to enjoy in ways that are horrible as I'm thinking in my head of why I don't want to go to jail. I, I you know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not about that. I, you know, look, you ain't going gonna to catch me in jail. But once again, we can have an argument. We can talk about it. We can yell, blah, blah, blah. The second you touch me, it's over. But understand what that is, you know. And it's like, look, we can disagree. We don't have to love each other. Just res- you can respect the person's opinion, even though you don't like it. He's like, ah, you got his opinion. That's great. You got it out. That's great. Great. Boom. You don't have to. You don't have to mess with this guy. You can just be like, no, man. You know. That's why I. I, I, I you know. I, I think that's why I have so many different types of friends that are, you know, Republican, Democrat, Independent. So I get a lot of different views on stuff. So I can get a lot of different opinions. I don't. I don't assume one thing or the other. Oh, this guy did this, so he's horrible. He must no, no, no. Let's get all the facts. Don't put the swing on it. Don't put, you know, this. This like if 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 you do dumb things and dumb, I, I want to say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's all it is. That's all it is. This guy played a stupid game. He gonna win a real stupid prize. And you know what? It might cost him more than he ever expected. You know, you go to jail, you catch a felony, you could lose the right to vote. Doesn't sound like much to you realize, you know, hey, having the right to vote is kind of important if you want to make change in your community. See, African-American males know that because there's a lot of felon- guys who catch a lot of felonies. They do a couple years, and then they wonder, well, I can't change anything. Well, yeah, because you, you caught a felony. Now the guys that, you know, are trying to control you have got the best control. You can't elect someone to represent you. You've lost that ability forever. In some places, forever. So, you know, hey, I'm I'm just like, how many people say invokes people? Can't like look, man. Anybody can provoke you. Anybody can provoke you. Be it. anybody tells me that guy provoked me. Well, you ain't a grown ass man or and woman. Don't think I'm sexist, but, but dude, nobody provokes you. Someone can say bad things about me. Someone can talk about my mama. Someone can talk about my father. I'm the adult. I gotta control my own self. It's called self control. See the first word, self. That's the giveaway. You know, don't be like, oh, he provoked me, so I had to punch him. No, you didn't. You provoked him because you got mad. And he got you. He got you. He got you to act a certain way. He controlled you. If I get you mad enough that makes you want to punch me, I am in control of you. Who assaults someone in front of witnesses? I, that's what I said, Steve. Steve, who assaults somebody? Dummies assault people like that. I am, dude, in the back alley. Like I said, catch him out. Catch him out. <laughs> make sure. If you're going to commit a felony, make sure there's nobody around to, to look at your felony. Don't be stupid. Don't help yourself out. Don't help yourself in the jail. It's like guys who commit crimes and then go on Facebook talking about the crimes they committed. Really, really, how dumb are you? That's like a that's a that's a level of dumb, you know. That's a that's another kind of level of dumb. But I oh my god, man, oh my god. So yeah, so this whole thing and you know, do yourselves a favor. If if you really if you're really not a fighter and you're really not you know down with that life and that life means jail time. Don't kid yourself. If you ain't about that life, don't get involved with that life. You can always walk away. The guy can call you whatever he wants. You know, call your names. Oh, that's cool. Call me. Hey, here's a here's a little fact. This is what I use a lot when people are like, well, how can you walk away? This guy provoked you. Let me put it in perspective for you. Jesus Christ said, and that's if you believe in God, but I believe Jesus Christ said, be nice to each other. And that's really all he said. And you know what they did to him? They nailed him to two pieces of wood. Why would you think you'd get better treatment than that? Hello? Oh, oh. I mean, dude, come on, let's keep it real. Let's keep it, let's keep it funky. Let's keep it real. They nailed Jesus to two pieces of wood. And really, all he said was be nice to each other, love each other, be kind, don't do horrible things. Two pieces of wood. 
each hand and foot. I mean, and you think that you're going to get some better treatment than that? Come on. That's just stupid. That's just, that's just, that's just, that's beyond just stupid. You know, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, this, this whole, this whole thing, you know, I've, I've always, I mean, I, especially, come on, man, it's geek culture we're talking about. And, you know, I'm, you know, I've seen some stuff he said, and, you know, I don't, I didn't like some of it. Some, some of it I agreed with. I'm not going to lie. Some stuff I'm like, okay, I can understand the reason behind that. I can agree with that. Some stuff, oh, God, you are nutty as a fruitcake. But once again, his opinions are his opinions. They don't have to be something that you have to defend, attack. Just, that's his opinion. Just like I'm giving you my opinion now. Don't but you know, I said, don't put your hands on me unless you want to get punched. Somebody out there is going to be like, I'm going to see Lewis Porter in person, and I'm going to put his hands on him. I'm like, well, okay, you know, I told you. What happens? Don't be surprised. You know, don't 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 get it twisted. I mean, some guys are out here trying to cause problems. You know, just just keep your hands to yourself. That's what Mrs. Porter said. It worked very well for my mom for you know teaching kids. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh, I you know, and this is this is from Tracy, a friend of mine. Yeah, there's there's a lot going. You know, like I just said, just just be nice to people, and if you don't like someone. Talk about his mama and then walk away. <laughs> you know, get a good mama insult. Make some people go, oh, and just walk away. That's all you got to do, man. <laughs> You'll be out. You know, hit the bomb. Bam, I'm out. Deuces. And if he comes and attacks you, then boom, you stop in the mud hole. But make sure you embarrass him. Talk about his mama, his ugly child, whatever. Well, maybe not ugly children. That's kind of, but, but yeah, ugly children are all right. But, you know, just talk about him and then be out. You're good. You don't have to punch anybody. You don't have to attack anybody. Look. Don't be a telephone tough guy and get yourself caught in a felony. And God forbid, God forbid something crazy happens, you know? You get in this kind of fight, boom, hit somebody, boom, hits the head against the cement, drops dead. Boom, congratulations, you just caught a life sentence. And that's happened before. I mean, that's happened a lot more than people want to admit. That's happened. That's how easy it can be. Gone. You, you be in jail, and let's be honest, a lot of you guys are not ready for that jail culture. I'm not ready for that jail culture, and I kind of have a good, good – Good idea what jail culture is about. I ain't about that life. Sorry, sorry. But once again, like I tell you, if someone put their hands on me, that's another story. Before that, I just talk about your mama, keep it moving, and be out. So there you go. But yeah, man, it's like remember there was a time when you could disagree with somebody and then talk about their mama and walk away, and that that was the thing. But now people just getting you know acts of violence. I'm just like holy cow, man. You know, and you know, look, I understand you don't like Nazis, but. You know, don't don't be up there trying to punch him in the face like you a tough guy. You might, you know, you might you might run up on the wrong guy. You know, I I mean, good lord, we've all been in a situation. We thought somebody was a simp, and we found out really quick that guy knew how to fight better than you ever thought possible. You know, <laughs> you think <laughs> you, you think you're going against? Uh, I need a good comic book reference. Uh, who can't really fight well? Well, I mean, there's tons of guys who can't fight well. Um, you think you're going against a typical guy, you were in the Captain America. It's like, I was not prepared for all this. Yeah, you weren't because you were not prepared for all this. I mean, holy cow, man. What were you thinking? Don't even do that. Just, yeah. See, everybody, insult their mothers and walk away. That's a win. You're good. <laughs> you know, good mama joke. And it's like, man, your mama's so, oh, no, I can't use that one because there's a lot of profanity in that one. You go with a good fat mama joke, you know. That's always good. You know, I think that's a little classic. You know, <laughs> your mama's so stupid you couldn't spell cat every spot of the C and the A. I mean, that's a good insult. You know, it's classic. You know, <sighs> I, the one I'm going to say I can't say because that's really appropriate. But you know, yeah, you know, Nicholas, you think you, yeah, you know, that Clark Kent Superman thing. You don't want to be, or even worse, Bruce Wayne Batman Who wants to be in that. I mean, you know, it happens, and it happens a lot. So yeah, don't don't do that. And look, um, old boy got and and. I didn't, here's another part of this. I didn't know Ethan Van Scriver was such a neo-Nazi. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, Ethan lives here in Florida. Um, and I was like, what? That guy is a neo-Nazi? What the, what? Well, maybe I am, Tracy, maybe I am. And, and like, apparently doing a fundraiser for uh, Jeremy. Look, I will say this on the true, on the true thing. If you were at the event and you saw the guy suck a punch him, dude, you got film of it, give it to the cops. I mean, really, man, I mean, Look, you may not want to, but it's the right thing to do, because God forbid if that had been your, have been a, your sister or your brother or somebody, 
and something had really hot popped off on that. It could have been like, you know, deadly. You know, you may not like the guy who got punched. You may not like him at all. But we, no, dude, you got to be bigger than that. And I'm sorry for anybody saying, "Oh no, 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 okay, no, no." Let me let me put you in perspective for your little self. And you know, um, African Americans had to do horrible things to basically to to get where I am right now. There are people who were in lunch counters who got beaten and abused and attacked by dogs, so we could get to where we are right now. Uh, I'm very thankful for them doing that. I would, of course, do that for my son and people I know. But I know there that you have to actually stand up for bad stuff you gotta you gotta no this is not right boom and you gotta make a sacrifice and sometimes it's not what you want to do but it's the right thing to do and in history will we'll, in history you're, you're, you're gonna win in the long run you're gonna win in the long run if she's gonna look back and be like bam bam you know you know you know i say you know Tr tracy i mean i've heard things about enough things about you subscriber to make me go what's going on there but once again, I care about artists. I care about artists doing art. I don't care about your political views and stuff like that. This is just something that is in our industry that had me go, what the, what is going on? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. He did, he did something to go fund me for this. Look, man, you know, if they want to fund Jeremy, they think that that's their choice. I'm not, I'm not putting any money in. I, but if someone thinks that the guy has been wrong, been wrong, which he has, I mean, he's been assaulted. Let's, let's keep it funky. He was assaulted, and the guy who assaulted him thinks he's going to escape to Connecticut. Dude, you're not escaping to Connecticut. They're going to, I mean, come on, man. That's just, but maybe, but maybe, maybe they'll just do a, a mutual combatant thing, and they'll just call it up uh, that, and, and you'll do that kind of thing. I just don't think you need to touch people like that. I don't think you cheer about someone hitting someone like that, and sucker punch like that. Because it had been flipped, you'd be screaming your head off going, oh, look at that. Look how they treat us. Look how they are. You know, man. I said, I'm just... Whew, I just want to make cool games and play stuff and read comic books. I mean, I mean, look. <laughs> read comic books. That's all I want to do. Read some comic books, have some good times. And I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm loving this Green Lantern. That, uh, 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 that Kryptonian thing. I just, they, I've always done that. So, there you go. So that's all I'm saying tonight. I'm going to go back because I still got my two more days of vacation left. I'm going to chill. I got some work to do. I'm going to wash some clothing. But you all have a good night. Uh, think about this next time something crazy happens. Remember, you don't have to put your hands on anybody. Talk about their mama. <laughs> move on out. Mother, move on out. That's that's a win-win. I will talk to you all later. <laughs>